Welcome to the channel folks, Clunkers and Classics, and this is uh, episode 7 of restoring the 78 Chevy Nova, and uh, let's see, last episode we got this whole rear end done, I bought some uh, tint, dark tint from Walmart, but it didn't turn out very good, I like the darkness of it, but I got all this, uh, stuff along the bottom and it just won't come out I don't know what the deal is I'm uh, gonna do the other window but I'm afraid it's probably gonna do the same thing anyway uh, this episode here we're gonna probably go ahead and take this whole dash apart uh, I got a few for some reason the headlights don't work dash lights come on signals come on rear lights come on brake lights signals everything but the headlights and here's some marker lights uh, there's no power coming to the headlight plug plugs in the headlight there's no power going to it and I've wiggled around the uh, connection on the light switch behind it. I can reach up in there and feel it. And uh, just nothing. They just don't come on. So we're going to go ahead and take the dash off. i got to repair broken plastics up here. It's getting kind of dark. I don't know if you can see that. Um... We take the stereo out, but we're going to recover, going to attempt to re fix and recover this whole dash up here, kind of like the RT, but it's a lot harder than the RT, and I think, I don't think this blower motor worked, did it? Yeah, you can hear it, that's right, the, uh, it's just stuck on low. So we're going to check that. Oh, uh, what else was there? We're going to paint all this metal here black. We're going to paint up here black, satin black. We're going to clean this plastic. We're going to check the gas gauge. Right, it's getting kind of dark. Remember the gas gauge, it, it seemed like it worked, but it was like on the side going from empty to full instead of in the middle where it's supposed to be. Oh, and the uh, speedometer. When we took it on the test drive there last episode, speedometer didn't work. So we're going to make sure that's connected. So anyway, I'm going to tear all this apart here in a little while. Uh, let me tell you what I just ordered for it. I didn't re-look at the door panels. I think they're a couple of hundred bucks. I can get a set for two nineteen or something. But I'm not. I ordered some material. I was ordering material for the back deck. I need to get that material before I mount the speakers because uh, it's got covers on that needs to go over top of the material. So I ordered that, and then I found this material, it's called pleated, and about every inch and a half, it's got a pleat in it, like that. Um, it wasn't cheap, though. It's about 70 bucks, enough to do both these door panels. But I figure since this cardboard is pretty good, I know that it looks shitty here, but the cardboard's intact, just this plastic vinyl is all messed up. So I think I'm going to attempt to recover it. Just have to cut the holes out for everything. But I'm going to attempt to do that. Uh, save me 150 bucks or something instead of buying door panels. Uh, what else did I buy? I bought, didn't I buy some more material? Back deck. Should have enough for the dash. Door panels. You gotta take this off sometime and fix that little busted piece there. I'm gonna go check on a windshield here in the next couple days. 
Okay, let me show you what I got going on in here. I got all them plastic interior pieces out. Oh, the back seat. I don't, it's such plain upholstery on it. It's all stained. I don't. I got a power washer. I don't know if it'll clean up and I can paint it or what. I probably can, but that damn black vinyl tree paint, that's 17 bucks a can. Um, so anyway, I found some seat covers. They're just gener generic, uh, uh, whatever you want to call it, all-purpose, universal. It's supposed to be leather. And it's a whole set to do a set of bucket seats and the back seat. It had the measurements, and I think there was a little bit short for this seat. But all of it was 35 bucks shipped. So I thought, well... I'll just go ahead and order that. If it don't work, it don't work. I can use it for something else. Uh, I got that 72 Nova next, so I don't know. I don't know if the back seats are any different. But anyway, I'm going to wait for that and try, because I've, I've done it before on my Chevelle, replace the right upholstery on it using the hog ring. Uh, let me see here. See these little deals here, little hog rings? And I got the uh, pliers and a whole bunch of hog rings still. So I'm going to attempt to do it. Uh, if it don't work, it don't work. Uh, worst case scenario, I'll just spray paint it black. But I'm going to have to go a different route. I'm not paying 17 bucks for a little can. And it wasn't just my parts store. I mean, they're 15 something on eBay. But that's too much where I can get a whole quart of paint, uh, car paint, like that flat black on the RT hood for uh, 29 bucks. And it'll probably be like 10 of these cans worth. And I don't know whether I can just paint, paint all this plastic stuff with regular paint or not. Uh, so I bought two cans of that. That's all I'm gonna buy. If I run out, I'm gonna have to try something else because it's just getting too expensive. Okay, so I got all these sanded here and wiped down and I'm about to paint them. I got to turn it over and I'm going to paint the, paint these edges here first and then turn it over and paint the other side. Uh, all these pieces here. Uh, I don't... See, when I first bought the car, I went to a junkyard and I grabbed some extra plastic pieces. And it looks like this was probably for the car, and then this was off another car. I don't know. I would think I only need two of them. Okay. Uh, these pieces here, I don't know if they go on the rocker. Well, wherever they go, they're a little bit beat up here. Ain't much I can do about that. But they were all split along here. So I used some of this JB plastic weld and put some in there. And then I'm going to put some tape and do these bottom little edges here on both of them are broke. I don't know if you can see, I already did some epoxy there. So I'm going to put a little epoxy on them and, and paint these as well. And same thing, I'm going to have to kind of flip it around paint one side and flip it around. Luckily I'm in no rush to do this so I can let it dry overnight and then paint the same with this. I have to paint these edges here, flip it over. Okay, so I'm about to do that now. And I don't know when the material and I ordered it last night. I don't know when all this stuff is gonna come in, whether it'll be uh in time for this video or not. Uh I was hoping it would be, but it may not. So if it's not, if it doesn't come in, we'll get rolling on some other stuff. Uh, trying to, well, we'll do the dash, I guess. We'll take all the dash apart and try to fix that stuff there. Okay, so I'll be back when I uh, get something done. Okay, guys, I got all the plastics painted. Uh, put like three coats, three coats of it on there. It didn't turn, turn out too bad. There's just a lot of chips and 
or scratches and stuff in it. Okay, I got that. Then this is uh, part of the door panel. The door panel seemed to really soak up the paint. It doesn't look very good. I don't know what I can do about that. That's like three coats. I don't want to just keep putting coats on there, but I think because it was painted before and sanded. And that's the other one. That's the top one. Okay. Uh, I power washed the seats. Most of the, I did it in the dark, so I couldn't see very good. I power washed it, scrubbed it a little bit. Probably could be cleaned a little bit better. It's a shame the upholstery is good. It's just that it's plain upholstery and it's just the wrong color. And it's ripped it a little bit at the top there. But I could probably put that back together. So I'm just waiting on them covers, see what they look like. Uh, I tinted this other back window. It didn't turn out that much better. Uh, I don't know if you can see. Got, I think this is dirt, because it's really hard to do. It's really hard to uh, take that film off and then put it on. Uh, and I think when I when I got that corner in there, it scraped it scraped against here and got some dirt or something in it right there. And then these damn things at the bottom keeps coming up, just like this side here. And uh, you just can't. You keep squeegeeing them down, and they just keep coming up. I mean, this is a lot. This side's a lot better than the other side, but I don't know. It's only ten bucks or something at Walmart. See these lines here? No matter how much you squeegee them, they just don't stay down. So eventually, I'll probably take it to a tent place and have all the windows done. I just wanted to see how it looked in dark paint. Uh, it was only ten bucks, but I'll probably get a uh, get the back window and these windows dark, and then whatever complies with the law for the front, have a place do it around. If I can find a place. So yeah, it's not something I'd recommend trying to do it yourself. It's uh, it's not that easy. It's been a long time since I've done them, done it before. I, I don't know, it might be just be cheap shit, you know? It says made in Taiwan. Uh, it didn't say it was 3M. And I don't know. But anyway, I'm about to take all this dash apart and I will be back when I get some something going on that. Okay guys, I got all the dash taken apart. It's gonna be, I'm gonna show you the dash inside. There's three three eighths little deal uh, nuts. One there, one there, and one I think in there. Okay. Uh, I'm going to check out, I'm going to take that light switch off, I'm going to check the wiring, see why the headlights don't work, but that light switch won't come off. Okay, so first you take this whole housing here off, and you take that apart, see if I can clean up that plastic somehow, uh, check the fuel gauge, check the wiper. And I know the wiper. Uh, I know there's a little button to push for that for that headlight switch. I can't find it now. Anyway, I'll get that off. I was pushing the little button, and oh, it's right there, right in front of me. 
supposed to push that button and then pull the lever out and then you can undo that little nut there and it'll come off don't mess around with that okay and then you got to take off these little nuts here to get the back off and we'll check the gas gauge uh we'll check the speedometer speedometer was hooked up okay so there's just a few screws holding that in there at the bottom Okay, I'm going to fix that plastic piece right there with some epoxy. Okay, once you get that off, then you can take this dash part off. And there's just a screw on each end. One right there. One right there. And then these three little uh, three-eighths. There's one there. There's one here beside the vent and another one there. And then these little deals here clip on the top of the dash. So, I can't buy an overlay for it. So I guess if you watch my RT video, I'm going to cut this off with a razor blade here. Cut all this stuff that's protruding up. Get it flat. Put some Bondo in there. Flatten it up the best I can. Same with these areas here. You see it all just breaking. Okay, then I'll just cover it with some black vinyl material. I mean, if you can't buy one of these dashes, and you got to fix your old one, well, I guess it'll look, no matter what happens, it'll look better than it does. Okay, then the little vents just popped out and paint them black for the AC okay so I'm gonna get going and uh, I'll be back when I got some more stuff done okay guys that's what I got going on with the dash uh, I got some uh, reinforcement stuff it's like drywall tape I'll show you here in a minute but I put a couple layers of Bondo and I'm basically just blocking it down. It's still, it's going to be far from perfect. I'm not sure, sure if these little cracks will show up. They probably will with the new vinyl. But basically just uh, smear it with Bondo, block it out. I'm not going to prime it or nothing. I'm just going to glue the uh, new upholstery on the top of it. Okay, I got that. Uh, got the center caps in. That's all I could get with some chrome. Chrome. These were the only ones that were three and a quarter inch. And they're supposed to be for trailers or aftermarket wheels. Uh, it's, it's in there. But it's just a little bit loose. So I don't know if it's going to be uh, rattling around while you're driving or what. Or I'll have to put some little... Some type of little goop or something in there but it, it ain't gonna fall out it's got a little flange on it but they just don't fit perfect but that's all I could find same with the front ones here I'm gonna probably get some little stickers here for that okay go to the inside here I got another switch from a van, junk van that I got, but it wasn't the uh, headlight switch. It was it was the dimmer switch down here. So now the headlights work. I don't know if you can see in the garage there. You see the light goes on and off. Okay, so we got that. I just took that uh, connection from the dimmer switch. And clean it up and it seems to be working before you could wiggle it a little bit and then go on and off okay uh, this fan switch here there's low medium you just gotta kind of wiggle it around a little bit like that
is just a little bit dirty. Um, I'm not sure if I can get at the connections in there. I'll probably take the plug off and clean it, but it's probably inside that switch. And I checked. I, I, I don't think I can get a new one. I didn't look real hard, but I was looking on AutoZone, especially for that light, mainly for that light switch, which was 25 bucks. And then I found out that it was the same as an 89 Chevy van. We're all the way up to like 96 Chevy van, Chevy trucks, Monte Carlos and stuff. So I took one off, um, but I couldn't find the switch here. So anyway, I'm going to clean it up. You know, if it don't work, just kind of wiggle it a little bit. Um, I got all this sanded down here. I think I got some paint left over from the RT for painting that uh, flat black hood. And I think I'm going to flat black it, even though it, I don't know. I make gloss black the bottom, flat black the top. Uh, I meant to go down to the glass place and see if I can get a windshield order because I can't sand and paint this top real good unless the windshield's out. The windshield's coming out anyway. So I kind of want to do that. Although I could just put everything back together, wait on the windshield. Um, I'll figure that out a little bit later. Okay, I'm going to shop here. Um, I got the kick panels out. They're a pain in the ass. This one has this deal in there anyway. I finally got it out. And then this one here had a top screw here, an emergency brake. Uh, brackets right there so you couldn't even get at the screw no matter what so I had to take my air chisel and pop it out okay this is some of the reinforcement I think it's drywall tape that I put over that dash with the bondo so you just spread a little bondo spread a couple layers of this on there then bondo over top okay uh, let me see I got all the part here. This plastic was mainly dirt. And it's still foggy and you can see a kind of a tint on there. Um, this gas gauge here, no matter, you know, somebody said just to move that needle to the E, but no matter what I do, if I do that I plug it in it'll go all the way over to here see and then when you turn the key off it'll go back up to here so it's kind of like this needs to be here uh, so it would be E then you turn the key on then it would go up turn the key off it would go on back down but it's doing it over here you turn the key on it well you turn the key off it's here turn the key on it goes to here so I took it apart, but there's nothing nothing to uh, adjust this needle or anything. So I'm not sure, you know, most of all y'all say it's uh, a ground, but that ground's connected on the back. I can take the, the ground off and uh, grind down the connection there, the metal, and reattach it. But I don't, I think since it's working opposite, I think the ground's on there, but anyway, I'll just have to live with it. If it doesn't fix itself, then I'll say, well, that's E, and then that's uh, half a tank, and I guess this down here would be a full tank. I don't know. But if I put it like that and put it on there, like I said, it goes all the way over. Okay, this plastic, I had this stuff here. It's about 20 years old, some headlight lens restore. It's really all it is is light uh, rubbing compound. And I, I rubbed that on there with some Windex. And like I said, I got it decent, but it, it's not perfect. I mean, you can see it now, but uh, it just got that little bit of a yellow-greenish tint. And I'm not sure uh, 
it's like I painted it clear. I don't really want to mess with it too much. I don't want to screw it up because you probably never find one of these. Um, sand it down and paint it clear. Whether it would be any better, then you take the chance of the clear flaking off the years down the road. Okay, uh, this here is going to go flat black or gloss black. I don't know. I got I only got a little bit of flat black left, so I don't I'm not sure uh, how much I got to do everything. Uh, the only thing is that little light says white uh, says lights is a uh, white. I could probably. Other than that, I got it all stripped down, epoxy that corner there. So we're gonna paint that, put this back together. Uh, get that dash fixed, upholstered, put that on first, the dash pad, then put all this back on there. Well, after I paint the, the metal part, here's the glob uh, the uh, uh, ashtray piece here. And same with these. I, I only got a little bit of that in that can left. I still got these to do and the two sun visors. And I only have a little bit, not much at all left in there. And these panels here just look like shit. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I think I'll use that flat black that's left over from the hood on the RT to do at least these two panels. And then whatever's left over, I'll do the bottom of the dash or do this dash here and then if I use it all up I'll paint the bottom of that dash uh, gloss black but anyway uh, that's what I got going now and I'll be back when I get some more accomplished okay guys I recovered this dash top turned out really really good but it's just, uh, it's hard around the corners, or around the edges. And uh, right in this, these lines here, most of it turned out okay, but it didn't quite stick right in there. But, yeah, it's okay. Hell of a lot better than it was before. Okay, then I painted the uh, bezel piece here uh, flat black. So I'm fixing to put all the uh, the gauges right here and stuff and bolt it on there. I'm going to bolt that on first. Uh, what else do I got? I painted those kick panels, but... Okay. I just finished painting. I painted the column flat black. And I painted up here flat black, but like I said, this got to be redone when I pull the windshield because you can't get at the paint in here and at the very lip. So that's just kind of temporary. I can mask it off. And then the bottom here, I painted gloss black. Got that in the ashtray right there. Okay, so I'm going to let that paint dry. I just painted it. And then I'm going to start putting it all back together. And I'll, I'll be back. We'll see how it looks. Okay, guys, I got all the dash put back together. Take a look at it. Painted all the bottom gloss black, the top flat, and then got the, cleaned up the plastic as best I could, and like I said, I think that's the best you can get it without trying to experiment with clear and everything, but I can see it. Uh, I could probably pop these vents back out and put some more glue right in here to get this body line. Try to stick it back in there a little bit, but it looks pretty damn good for 
for what it was. All busted up, cracked, deteriorated old dash. Okay, uh, like I said, I couldn't get the gas gauge working. The speedometer is okay. It's the cable. Well, it's a transmission. Because uh, I jacked it up and uh, got the rear wheels off the ground, put it in drive, and the cable doesn't spin. So it's something from the transmission to the cable. Uh, it's probably one a little plastic gear or something. Who knows? Um, you can't see it now, but I got all them dash lights working except for one over here, which the non-existent clock goes to. Uh, I put a good bulb in it, but it just, uh, I don't know, bad connection or something. Uh, the signal ones and high beams didn't work. But all I did was wiggle them, just, well, kind of tighten them, just one, just a hair. And there's that one, the right. Uh-oh. Oh, I don't have the headlights on. Uh, you probably can't see it, but that blue, there's a blue light on. There. So yeah, those three lights didn't work, and I just turned it a little bit. A couple of more were burnt out, and I replaced them. So I got all that working. Uh, I said the head got the headlights working. Mm -hmm. The wipers do work. Fan blower motor. That all works. With the cigarette. Uh, I got a good deal of this. Good deal one of these. But... I'm gonna have to replace this deal here. It doesn't cigarette lighter don't work. The wire going to it's uh, hot, and these are just for the uh, radio and an extra. This was a, a wire going for the for a light in the glove box. There's a little button here, but there's no light in there. So that's just an extra power wire, and then the rest of the radio wires. And it is wired up for the speakers. Uh, for the back now that <clears throat> back deck I peeled off all that crap they had on there it's kind of contoured you can see the contour here because I think on the RT I just used some cardboard and covered it I'm going to use this one but it's a little bit warped there and there but uh, so I ordered the material, the material came for it, but I ordered two yards and they only sent one. So I don't have enough to cover this. So I can't do that right now. I was going to do that and I started mounting, you can see the speaker there. I started, there was no holes. There was no holes in there for six by nines. I drilled that side. I'm about to do the other side. Um, these are little access holes here. You can see here they were kind of covered up with something. Anyway, I peeled them off, and I don't know if you can see, but you can see that quarter panel where I welded it on there. I'm going to spray some primer and paint all in there, there, and this access hole here. To spray the hell out of it. Probably spray some undercoating. So all that will be protected in there. Uh, I ordered the carpet, searching high and low on eBay, and then I I, I remembered Rock Auto again and uh, got it the cheapest at Rock Auto. It was about $153 with tax and shipping. It's like $128, but with, with tax and shipping, I think it's $153. So I got that coming, but a two-day delay. So 
probably be here in five days instead of three. Um, what else did I order? The uh, material for the door panels will be in, they said today, FedEx. But next video, because I'm, I'm going to end this video, next video we're going to take all these door, these two door panels off and recover them. Like I said, I got this that pleated uh, vinyl covering. And since the cardboard itself is okay, this vinyl's peeling, but we're going to cover it with that. Uh, the window channel. We already got this new stuff here, but the, I ordered this window channel that was like 36 bucks for the pair. And I'm about to order these inner and outer belt moldings are like 82 bucks, pretty damn high. Uh, I'm still going to look for another door, but we're going to get started. At least we can do that driver's door next video. Okay, so next video we'll get the, the doors done. Um, the headliner... I think it's 330 bucks, 270 plus 60 to ship it, 330 bucks. So I'm going to hold off on that for now, and I, I'm just going to paint it. You can, there's a little bit of surface rust here. I'm probably just going to paint it with pour 15, and then the rest with regular paint. And then, and after the deck is done then i can start putting all that plastic in oh uh, i still gotta wait for the seat covers but i can put all the other plastics in that i painted so we'll get that done next video we'll see how them seat covers are for the uh back seat if they don't fit right i'll have to order something else so anyway uh we got quite a bit done uh mainly all that dash taken apart Okay, so, uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that stuff, and, uh, we'll see y'all next video, and, uh, thanks for watching.